At this monastery in New Brunswick, Canada, monks raise 240,000 broiler chickens for slaughter every year. The chickens are confined to massive, crowded sheds. They never see the light of day until they are hauled to slaughter. They never build nests. They never develop a social order. They are denied most of what God intended for them to enjoy. They are bred to grow so big and at a rate so much faster than they would in nature, that many can't support their own weight and die of painful leg injuries or heart and lung failure. The monastery forcibly removes calves from the mothers just hours after birth, so that their mother's milk, which God intended for the calves, can instead be sold for human consumption. In nature, calves live with their mothers for more than a year. The traumatized calves, who are social animals and, in nature, form bonds with one another, are chained and forced to face the bitter Canadian winter alone. Male calves, born on the monastery's otherwise hallowed grounds, are reportedly shot in the head because the monks have no use for them in their dairy production. The monks also raise 60,000 female chicks each year for egg production. These chickens are later sent to egg-laying facilities, similar to one that PETA investigators filmed at another Trappist monastery, Mapkin Abbey, in South Carolina. Egg-laying hens in such facilities spend their entire lives crowded into small wire cages, never able to spread their wings or feel God's earth beneath their feet. Pope Benedict XVI, three years before his elevation to the papacy, condemned such conditions. He stated that when hens live so packed together that they become just caricatures of birds, this degrading of living creatures to a commodity seems to contradict the relationship of mutuality that comes across in the Bible. However, there is hope. After Peter's investigation of Mepkin Abbey, the public voiced its disapproval and convinced the monks there to convert from caging chickens to raising oyster mushrooms instead. Please, respectfully urge the monks in New Brunswick to convert to a humane, non-animal industry, just as their brothers at Mepkin Abbey did.